Are you ready to unlock the secrets to making more money? Yes. Well, that's better. Better energy. You see, when you scream a, a bit, you open up your lungs and you invite more oxygen, and this oxygen oxygen goes to the brain and allows you to, you know, focus better. So I would like you to focus better because the subject we're going to talk about tonight is not, you know, a simple subject. In fact, I also have a very little time to, you know, expound this subject. And as I can see, you've got a piece of paper and pencil. We'll put that into use because I would like you to really note down. Because I'm going to give you the secret code. Money is just like in a vault now. You need a secret code, a combination code to unlock the money or the vault to get the money that you want. All right? So let's talk about money. They said money is the root of all evil. If that is the case, then there's no business of us discussing this tonight, right? It is not true. The love of money is the root of all evil. Money is very powerful. It has a power of its own. If you cannot control the power of money, you get controlled by the power of money. And when you're controlled, some bad things could happen. You see, where did money come from? Well, in the olden days, there was no money. Before money was invented, people used to exchange goods and services in terms of barter. If you're a baker, you bake bread, and there's a carpenter who builds a chair, you didn't find the value, agree the value, and then you do the exchange. All right? But as the population grows, it's so difficult to track these transactions, right? So there has to be a medium or a currency created, a medium of exchange. And that's when money was created. So we heard, heard, we've heard about the silver coins, the gold coins. Until it progressed to this modern days, we've got the banknotes. The notes or the money that is in your wallets and pockets. I hope you have many tonight. This banknotes, materially, is actually just a piece of paper, right? Some scribble in it. It doesn't have a value. It's just a piece of paper. What does, how does it extract its value? It's a promissory note of a value hidden somewhere in the form of gold reserves, in bank reserves. And you're given that note saying that you have a part of that value. Why I'm saying this? Because I would like you to understand that money is just a representation of value. And when we say like attracts like, money or value attracts, attracts value. I will expound that a bit because our subject is about making more money. So how do we do that? Value is the key word. Mr. Fari introduced me, I've, I'm very grateful because uh, I've been given the opportunity to start a business of my own. Having this opportunity, I've got opportunity to help a lot of people, give livelihoods to people. I get opportunity to travel the world and also, you know, give a comfortable life for my family. But it wasn't like this from the very beginning. I was considered as a victim. So, before I lay down the components, I would like you to scribble, okay, use your pen to scribble the paper right ac across it lengthwise, okay? I would like you to do that now. Divide the paper into two halves, okay? Lengthwise. The left-hand side, I would like you to write numbers one to seven. Let's write one to seven. It's very important that we will note down the value I'm referring to in order for you to unleash, unleash the, you know, your potential to acquire the money you ever, ever want for yourself. All right. So one to seven, if that's done, just leave the right-hand side empty. Okay. All right. So number one, this is the combination. Okay. I would like you to write it down with, with capital letter V. Write it down. Victim to victor. 
not Hector, that's me. Victim to victor. It's a victory. All right? Now, when I started, I was a victim. I was alienated. When you're a victim, you're alienated, you're controlled, you're suppressed. I was like that. Creditors were knocking at my doors. I was short with my promises. And, you know, life was quite stressful trying to make you know, ends meet. And it is a struggle in a, in a, in a bad way. Because my mindset was a mindset of a victim. Right now, if I'm waiting what I've achieved, I've realized making more money is rising up from being a victim to victor. I would like you to write down on the right hand side the contrast between a victim and a victor. Okay? A victim gets what they want, only gets what they want from people. Alright? only gets what they want from people. While a victor helps people get what they want. It's almost like a play of words, but if you listen and look at it deeply, you'll uncover the value of this phrase. You see, a lot of times when you walk to uh, stores, you can almost feel that you are just a number walking in. Right? That's how many businesses do their you know, business. It's transactional form of business. You see people as numbers, as opposed to seeing, you know, putting up care to people. This is the differentiation, all right? Now you see, if you see people as numbers, your business won't go on that, that long. But if you start your business by caring your people, okay? Looking after, making sure that they get what they want. If you help them, to get what they want, you will get what you want. If money is what you want, you will get it. Think about that deeply. The second contrast is that a victim, and you write this on the right hand side of your paper, a victim normally works hard on their job, while a victor works hard on themselves. What's the difference? Now, a famous author, business author, in the name of Stephen Covey, who was the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, used a metaphor, sharpening the saw. He's the one who made more result. You see, it is a metaphor used to let us understand that if you want to make more money, you sharpen your wits, your way of thinking, your mindset, your psychology. It has been said that 80% of our successes in life is attributed to psychology, right? And just 20% mechanics, how to do it. It is very important that you sharpen your wits, empower yourself. A lot of successful people only does that. I've never come across with a successful person, millionaire, who does not read books, who does not attend seminars like this, who doesn't look for a mentor. If you want to get the money you want, maybe you want the money to make the world a better place, you've got to make sure that you increase your value. All right? The third contrast is that people consider this victim, the one who doesn't make more money, versus the one who makes more money. A victim really do things the easy way. So I'd like you to write it down on the right-hand side of the paper. Victims do things the easy way, while victor do things the hard way. A famous motivational speaker and inspiration coach, and Les Brown is his name, once said, if you do things the easy way, you'll lead a hard life. If you do things the hard way, you'll lead an easy life. Amazing, isn't it? Now, I was talking to a CEO, a young CEO. I was training him in the gym before. And I was so impressed. I was so motivated because he was so young, but he had so successful. So I asked him this question. How did you do? And he told me, Hector, here's the secret. When I wake up in the morning, there are two decisions I have to make. Whether I have to do things the easy way 
or do things the hard way, I always decide to do things the hard way. And that's why I'm successful. You see, if you run the statistics, 3% of the population of the world controls the 97% resources we have. Why? Because they choose the road less traveled. When you choose the less road less traveled, it's a great reward that awaits you. It's very important that you do things the hard way. What are the hard things? Does it mean that you have to work hard? Like some workers we see under the heat of the sun, I respect it's a noble profession, but they don't make so much of money, right? We're talking about the secret to making more money. What makes more money and it seems unfair, a person who sits in the office and in an air-conditioned room in a very luxurious office, nice chair, right? But what's the difference? That guy does a little more harder work. It is harder to think than to labor physically. The world needs thinkers. There's scarcity. Why? There's so many people who just comfortable to let others think for them, to plan for them. If you don't have a plan, what does they say about it? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So it's a good word, right? You can note it down. Now, you see, a lot of times, if we don't, or most of the time, if we don't plan, we become a plan for other people. And guess what? What is your plan for you? Maybe not much. You've got to create your own plan. So I would like you to make sure that you understand the contrast. You rise up from being a victim to victor. All right? Second. Are we in the second? Second uh, combination of the luck. The second, it says, ask. Write it down. Ask, and it shall be given. And you'll say, oh, come on, Hector, it's obvious. Ask and it shall be given. Hang on a second. This is a technology. Ask and it shall be given is a technology to make more money. A lot of people don't know how to ask. You'll be amazed why. See, the bank, or sorry, the mind is like a bank teller. When you go to a bank and you want to withdraw money, you write it in a piece of paper, right? You put the amount, the right currency, and you hand it over to the teller. The teller gives you exactly the amount that you've asked for. Nothing more, nothing less. The mind works that way. If you ask a question, I'll give you an example. You ask the question, why am I broke? Who asked the question before? That's right, right? <laughs> Who asked the question before to themselves? Why am I broke? Why am I broke? If you ask the question, your body will come up with the right answers all the time. Nothing more, nothing less. It will tell you you're broke because you're lazy. You don't have a job. You're born poor. You don't have the right education. Not you, Barry. I admire you. Uh, there are many reasons why or answers that the mind will come up to let you understand that you are really broke. The right question to ask is, how can I make more money? Same question, different result. Because the mind will come up with reasons and answers on how you can make more money. If it doesn't have it, what will it do? It will search for it, right? Now we have Mr. Google, right, who knows it all. They said, if you are ignorant nowadays, you know, then you are a fool. Well, ignorant is fool in a way, but you know, you're a fool because it is information age. If you want to know something, you just ask. Ask the right question to get the right answer. Do you get it? Right? Ask and it shall be given. I'll give you an example, okay? If you ask, how can I earn more money? Probably the answer you come across is, hey, increase your income. Then you'll get to understand what income is. There are three forms of income. One, it is called earned income. Second, it's called portfolio income. Third, it's called passive income. Earned income is when you exchange your time for money. 
That is when we have our work. It's important. It's easy because we don't have to put a capital, right? We just invest our time, our effort. Problem is this, it is linear. I'm not saying it's not good as an income. You have to have that sort of income. But once you are, your time is limited, you have only 24 hours a day. And in that 24 hours a day, six hours, you're on Facebook, right? So you don't have enough, enough time. So if you trade time for money, you'll end up not having enough money, right? The second one is portfolio income. Portfolio income is that you need some form of capital. There are many financial instruments. My partner here, Mr. Surab, is a financial expert, so he does this you know, very well. So there are many forms of that, financial instruments, and you invest the small risk, the smaller return. The high risk, the higher the return. Right? So it gives you a steady income, but it still would require sometimes your you know, efforts and your time. The third form of income is the one that is quite, uh, is something that I would really want you to look in carefully. And I, I suggest that you would you know, add into your portfolio. This is the passive income. Passive income is when you, when you invest, there's a small investment required, but when you invest, the system works for you. You can retire early. So I would like to describe it this way. There are three ways. One, you hire people. When you hire people, you know, great people. You can set up a business and you can let the business grow until not much of your time is needed anymore to run the business. It will provide you the income you want. Second is by way of leveraging. Think about you going to the bank, you borrow money by, by way of loan, and you buy that proceeds to a, a property that is being rented out. When you rent out the property, you get an income. That income could pay for the loan. And when you completed your obligation, then you're receiving income all throughout your life, right? Even if you don't do anything about it, right? Is passive income, income great? It's great. Third one is multi-level network marketing. It's networking. Networking business is a multi-billion dollar business. In fact, more than 200 billion US dollars circulating in this industry. Think about that. And over 100 million people enjoying you know, more money, obviously. So think about that. Find, you know, instruments or companies that allows you, you know, for you to understand. A lot of you Filipinos, uh, in our country, we have a lot of this, uh, you know, system and process. Some doesn't work, but why does it not work? It's because there's some missing link. It's the person handling that. At first, you have to work hard and develop your business. It depends upon what you know inside that allows you to create the business and its future. All right? So if you understand, you empower yourself, you always attend seminars like this, you allow myself, myself to be your coach, financial coach, then you will see different results, whatever instruments there will be, okay? Number three is never give up on the things you truly want. If Thomas Edison had given up, he could have been no light bulb. He could not have easily seen each other's face in this dark room. But Thomas Edison didn't give up. Guess what? He failed 1,000 times. Phenomenal, right? Ask yourself this question. How many times have you failed and given up? If you truly want something, if you have a goal in life, how many times have you failed and you've given up? This guy has not only invented light bulb, he also inspires us that to be successful in life, to get more money in life, you never give up on what you truly want to achieve, all right? So, one of the worst problems is not stopping when you fail. The worst problem is not even trying because it's a sure, sure failure. A lot of people fail to try, let alone trying and failing. They fail to even try. That's the worst kind of failure. 
So, I would like you to make sure that you never give up. Follow people who have, most of the successful people, in fact, all successful people making more money, have a lot of failures. Failures are stepping stone to success. They define failure as first attempt in learning. How is it spelled? F-A-I-L is first attempt in learning. Fail. Right? Write it down, right hand side of your paper. Maybe as you browse along that, after a talk, you'll see a different volume. All right, the next one, Where, which number are we now? Number four, write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never claim it back. Therefore, time is the most important currency in the world today. Check how you spend your time. An average person spends about 40 minutes on Facebook, according to research. My son maybe uh, spends more. <laughs> you see, a lot of time, we also hang out. We spend our time with people that does not contribute value to us. I'm not saying, you know, something wrong with that. But as I've said, you know, you choose your crowd wisely. It has been said that your income is the average of the income of your five closest friends or the friends you spend most of your time with. So if they're not making much, guess what? You too will not be making much. A lot of successful people who achieve greatness and more money spends with people who challenges them. If I'm not mistaken, the Apple CEO Steve Jobs once said, if you're the most intelligent person in your group, it's about time to find a new group. All right? Spend your time wisely. I read books a lot, and I found that successful people spend 80% of their time studying, reading books, attending seminars again, personal development, doing exercise, 20% mechanics. They only do their job 20% of their time. That's how highly effective they are when you sharpen the saw, right? Take inventory of your time. Make sure you create a lot of value at the time because that's where you get the money by creating value from your time. What's the next number, please? Number five. Okay, it says, Action, write it down, is the language of success. Action is the language of success. A lot of people have brilliant ideas, but no action. Knowledge without action is not power. But knowledge with action is power. I'm not only saying action, add an adjective in that. Say massive action. All right, very important, massive action. I bought a book here yesterday. This book, I would highly recommend you read, but there's only one I have. It's authored by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. It doesn't say dream and grow rich. Think and grow rich. I'm gonna give this to one of you. Who wants it? Well, I can give it to so many of you. Who wants it? There you go. She got it. And this is the lesson. Even if you're at the back, if you take massive action, you'll get what you want to achieve. Only the person who takes massive action gets what they want. That's an example. Okay. Massive action is achieved by raising your standards. Turn your should into a must. If you're bleeding right now, you say, I should go to the hospital. No way. You'll say, I must go to the hospital. 
Can we use that philosophy when it comes to our goal? When it comes to making money? If you say there's no other option, I must succeed, I must achieve it, then that's the secret to making more money. All right? What's the next number? Six. Number four. Write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never claim it back. Therefore, time is the most important currency in the world today. Check by way of loan and you buy that proceeds to a property that is being rented out. When you rent out the property, you get an income. That income could pay for the loan. And when you completed your obligation, then you're receiving income all throughout your life, right? Even if you don't do anything about it, right? Is passive income, income great? It's great. Third one is multi-level network marketing. It's networking. Networking business is a multi-billion dollar business. In fact, more than 200 billion US dollars circulating in this industry. Think about that. And over 100 million people enjoying you know, more money, obviously. So think about that. Find, you know, instruments or companies that allows you, you know, for you to understand. A lot of you Filipinos, uh, in our country, though, we have a lot of this, uh, you know, system and process. Some doesn't work. But why does it not work? It's because there's some missing link. It's the person handling that. At first, you have to work hard and develop your business. It depends upon what you know inside that allows you to create the business and its future. All right? So if you understand, you empower yourself, you always attend seminars like this, you allow myself, myself to be your coach, financial coach, then you will see different results, whatever instruments there will be, okay? Number three is never give up on the things you truly want. If Thomas Edison had given up, you could have been no light bulb. You could not have easily seen each other's face in this dark room. But Thomas Edison didn't give up. Guess what? He failed 1,000 times. Phenomenal, right? Ask yourself this question. How many times have you failed and given up? If you truly want something, if you have a goal in life, how many times have you failed and you've given up? This guy has not only invented light bulb, he also inspires us that to be successful in life, to get more money in life, you never give up on what you truly want to achieve, all right? So, one of the worst problems is not stopping when you fail. The worst problem is not even trying because it's a sure, sure failure. A lot of people fail to try, let alone trying and failing. They fail to even try. That's the worst kind of failure. So, I would like you to make sure that you never give up. Follow people who have most of the successful people, in fact, all successful people making more money, have a lot of failures. Failures are stepping stone to success. They define failure as first attempt in learning. How is it spelled? F-A-I-L is first attempt in learning. Fail. Right? Write it down, the right hand side of your paper. Maybe as you browse along that, after a talk, you'll see a different volume. All right, the next one, Where, which number are we now? Number four, write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never claim it back. Therefore, time is the most important
currency in the world today. Check how you spend your time. An average person spends about 40 minutes on Facebook according to research. My son maybe uh, spends more. <laughs> you see, a lot of time we also hang out. We spend our time with people that does not contribute value to us. I'm not saying, you know, something wrong with that. But as I've said, you know, you choose your crowd wisely. It has been said that your income is the average of the income of your five closest friends or the friends you spend most of your time with. So if they're not making much, guess what? You too will not be making much. A lot of successful people who achieve greatness and more money spends with people who challenges them. If I'm not mistaken, the Apple CEO Steve Jobs once said, if you're the most intelligent person in your group, it's about time to find a new group. All right? Spend your time wisely. I read books a lot, and I found out successful people spend 80% of their time studying, reading books, attending seminars again, personal development, doing exercise, 20% mechanics. They only do their job 20% of their time. That's how highly effective they are when you sharpen the saw, right? Take inventory of your time. Make sure you create a lot of value at the time because that's where you get the money by creating value from your time. What's the next number, please? Number five. Okay, it says action, write it down, is the language of success. Action is the language of success. A lot of people have brilliant ideas, but no action. Knowledge without action is not power. But knowledge with action is power. I'm not only saying action, add an adjective in that. Say massive action. All right, very important, massive action. I bought a book here yesterday. This book I would highly recommend you read, but there's only one I have. It's authored by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. It doesn't say dream and grow rich. Eh? Think and grow rich. I'm going to give this to one of you. Who wants it? Well, I can give it to so many of you. Who wants it? There you go. She got it. I'm f this is the lesson. Even if you're at the back, if you take massive action, you'll get what you want to achieve. Only the person who takes massive action gets what they want. That's an example. Okay. Massive action is achieved by raising your standards. Turn your should into a must. If you're bleeding right now, you say, I should go to the hospital. No way. You'll say, I must go to the hospital. Can we use the philosophy when it comes to our goal? When it comes to making money? If you say there's no other option, I must succeed, I must achieve it, then that's the secret to making more money. All right, what's the next number? Six, it says grow, write it down. Grow your self-worth. Growing your self-worth is a saying, believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? How do you expect others to believe in you if you even don't believe in yourself? How do you increase? Now you see, a lot of times, there's so many people who, who said, you know, this athlete's isn't fair, you know, they're playing football, child's game. 
football, basketball, they're earning ridiculous amount of money. Why? Because they believe in themselves. When you buy the soft drink, the popcorn, and the ticket to give you a seat to watch this athlete, you're buying onto the belief system of this athlete. That's why he gets more money. Believe in yourself. All right? We're coming in to the last one. All right? It's the seventh one, right? Seventh one is educate yourself and educate others. All right? How much do we spend? You know, I've read an article that, you know, people spend around more than $200 in the outside of their head, you know, gel, creams, you know, makeup, shampoo, you know, lipstick, a lot, right? Just to think you get beautiful by investing on the outside. Well, the secret is really investing in products for the inside. So that beauty will just radiate, radiate from inside out. When was the last time you have attended a seminar? A life changing seminar. I would guarantee you one of you, many, maybe many of you, will be given a responsibility, will climb up high in the ladder of success and be a very successful individual simply because of this talk. All right? When you get there, you let me know. All right? Educate yourself. There's a lot of smartphones today that make me ask the question, are there a lot of smart people? A lot of smartphones? Less smart people? Right? Educate yourself. Education is not done in school. School is just sharpening the wits. The real education is when you get out of school. Is when you start to learn. Those learning will help you build your future. And there's no age in education. Colonel Sa Sanders. Who knows Colonel Sanders? The founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm sure all of us have tasted that. It's world worldwide, global. He set up the business when he was 60 years old using his retirement fund and become a billionaire at his 70s. See. Educate yourself and you unlock the secrets to making more money. When you are educated, your turn to stand here and inspire people. So educate and educate others, all right? So I would like uh, to raise the energy, okay, tonight. I would like you to stand up. We'll make a declaration, okay? Let's make a declaration for change, okay? I would write, like you to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. You've got to repeat after me, okay? Declaration, all right? It's video, all right? So you've got to fulfill this declaration. I'd like you to look at the person on your right. Look at the person on your left. And a person behind you. Just in case you lose something, you know how, who has it, huh? <laughs> we'll make a declaration. I, state your name, Hector. No, not your name. <laughs> Declare that I'll rise up from being a victim to victor. That I will ask so that it shall be given. And I'll never give up on the things I truly want. And I'll spend time wisely. And I'll take action, massive action, to grow my self-worth and educate myself so I can educate others to unlock the secrets of making more money and to make the world a better place. Thank you.
All right. The next one. Where? Which number are we now? Number four. Write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never claim it back. Therefore, time is the most important currency in the world today. Check how you spend your time. An average person spends about 40 minutes on Facebook, according to research. My son maybe uh, spends more. <laughs> you see, a lot of time we also hang out. We spend our time with people that does not contribute value to us. I'm not saying, you know, something wrong with that. But as I've said, you know, you choose your crowd wisely. It has been said that your income is the average of the income of your five closest friends or the friends you spend most of your time with. So if they're not making much, guess what? You too will not be making much. A lot of successful people who achieve greatness and more money spends with people who challenges them. If I'm not mistaken, the Apple CEO Steve Jobs once said, if you're the most intelligent person in your group, it's about time to find a new group. All right? Spend your time wisely. I read books a lot, and I found that successful people spend 80% of their time studying, reading books, attending seminars again, personal development, doing exercise. 20% mechanics. They only do their job 20% of their time. That's how highly effective they are when you sharpen the saw. Right? Take inventory of your time. And make sure you create a lot of value at the time. Because that's where you get the money. By creating value from your time. What's the next number, please? Number five. Okay, it says... Action, write it down, is the language of success. Action is the language of success. A lot of people have brilliant ideas, but no action. Knowledge without action is not power. But knowledge with action is power. I'm not only saying action, add an adjective on that. Say massive action all right very important massive action i bought a book here yesterday this book i would highly recommend you read but there's only one i have it's authored by napoleon hill think and grow rich it doesn't say dream and grow rich think and grow rich i'm gonna give this to one of you who wants it I can give it to so many of you. Who wants it? There you go. She got it. I'm this is the lesson. Even if you're at the back, if you take massive action, you'll get what you want to achieve. Only the person who takes massive action gets what they want. That's an example. Okay. Massive action is achieved by raising your standards. Turn your should into a must. If you're bleeding right now, you say, I should go to the hospital. No way. You'll say, I must go to the hospital. Can we use the philosophy when it comes to our goal? When it comes to making money? If you say, there's no other option. I must succeed. I must achieve it. Then, that's the secret to making more money. All right? What's the next number? Six. Number four. Write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. 
If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never earn it back. Therefore, time is the most important currency in the world today. Check by way of loan, and you buy that proceeds to uh, a property that is being rented out. When you rent out the property, you get an income. That income could pay for the loan. And when you completed your obligation, then you're receiving income all throughout your life, right? even if you don't do anything about it, right? Is passive income, income great? It's great. Third one is multi-level network marketing. It's networking. Networking business is a multi-billion dollar business. In fact, more than 200 billion US dollars circulating in this industry. Think about that. And over 100 million people enjoying you know, more money, obviously. So think about that. Find, you know, instruments or companies that allows you, you know, for you to understand. A lot of you Filipinos uh, are in our country, though, we have a lot of this, uh, you know, system and process. Some doesn't work. But why does it not work? It's because there's some missing link. It's the person handling that. At first, you have to work hard and develop your business. It depends upon what you know inside that allows you to create the business and its future. All right? So if you understand, you empower yourself, you always attend seminars like this, you allow myself, myself to be your coach, financial coach, then you will see different results, whatever instruments there will be, okay? Number three is never give up on the things you truly want. If Thomas Edison had given up, you could have been no light bulb. You could not have easily seen each other's face in this dark room. But Thomas Edison didn't give up. Guess what? He failed 1,000 times. Phenomenal, right? Ask yourself this question, how many times have you failed and given up? If you truly want something, if you have a goal in life, how many times have you failed and you've given up? This guy has not only invented light bulb, he also inspires us that to be successful in life, to get more money in life, you never give up on what you truly want to achieve. All right? So, one of the worst problems is not stopping when you fail. The worst problem is not even trying because it's a sure, sure failure. A lot of people fail to try, let alone trying and failing. They fail to even try. That's the worst kind of failure. So, I would like you to make sure that you never give up. Follow people who have, most of the successful people, in fact, all successful people making more money, have a lot of failures. Failures are stepping stone to success. They define failure as first attempt in learning. How is it spelled? F-A-I-L is first attempt in learning. Fail. Right? Write it down, right hand side of your paper. Maybe as you browse along that, after a talk, you'll see a different volume. Alright? The next one, Where, which number are we now? Number four. Write it down. Time is the most important thing you could ever spend. If you want to make more money, you spend your time wisely. You spend time, oh, sorry, money, you can get it back. But if you spend time, you can never earn it back. Therefore, time is the most important currency in the world today. Check how you spend your time. An average person spends about 40 minutes on Facebook, according to research, my son maybe uh, spends more. <laughs> you see, a lot of time we also hang out. We spend our time with people that does not contribute value to us. I'm not saying you know 
something wrong with that. But as I've said, you know, you choose your crowd wisely. It has been said that your income is the average of the income of your five closest friends or the friends you spend most of your time with. So if they're not making much, guess what? You too will not be making much. A lot of successful people who achieve greatness and more money spends with people who challenges them. If I'm not mistaken, the Apple CEO Steve Jobs once said, if you're the most intelligent person in your group, it's about time to find a new group. All right? Spend your time wisely. I read books a lot and I found out successful people spend 80% of their time studying, reading books, attending seminars again, personal development, doing exercise, 20% mechanics. They only do their job 20% of their time. That's how highly effective they are when you sharpen the saw, right? Take inventory of your time. And make sure you create a lot of value at the time because that's where you get the money by creating value from your time. What's the next number, please? Number five. Okay, it says action, write it down, is the language of success. Action is the language of success. A lot of people have brilliant ideas, but no action. Knowledge without action is not power. But knowledge with action is power. I'm not only saying action, add an adjective in that. Say massive action. All right, very important, massive action. I bought a book here yesterday. This book I would highly recommend you read, but there's only one I have. It's authored by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. It doesn't say dream and grow rich. Eh? Think and grow rich. I'm gonna give this to one of you. Who wants it? Well, I can give it to so many of you. Who wants it? There you go, she got it. I'm f this is the lesson. Even if you're at the back, if you take massive action, you'll get what you want to achieve. Only the person who takes massive action gets what they want. That's an example. Okay. Massive action is achieved by raising your standards. Turn your should into a must. If you're bleeding right now, you say, I should go to the hospital. No way. You will say, I must go to the hospital. Can we use the philosophy when it comes to our goal? When it comes to making money? If you say there's no other option, I must succeed, I must achieve it, then that's the secret to making more money. All right, what's the next number? Six, it says grow, write it down. Grow your self-worth. Growing your self-worth is a saying, believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? How do you expect others to believe in you if you even don't believe in yourself? How do you increase? Now you see, a lot of times, there's so many people who, who said, you know, this athletes, is unfair, you know, they play football, child's game, football, basketball, they're earning ridiculous amount of money. Why? Because they believe in themselves. When you buy the soft drink, the popcorn, and the ticket to give you a seat to watch this athlete, you're buying onto the belief system of this athlete. That's why he gets more money. Believe in yourself. All right? We're coming in to the last one, all right? It's the seventh one, right? Seventh one is 
educate yourself and educate others. All right. How much do we spend? You know, I've read an article that, you know, people spend around more than $200 in the outside of their head, you know, gel, creams, you know, makeup, shampoo, you know, lipstick, a lot, right? Just to think you get beautiful by investing on the outside. Well, the secret is really investing in products for the inside so that beauty will just radiate, radiate from inside out. When was the last time you have attended a seminar? A life-changing seminar. I would guarantee you one of you, many, maybe many of you, will be given a responsibility, will climb up high in the ladder of success and be a very successful individual simply because of this talk. All right? When you get there, you let me know. All right? Educate yourself. There's a lot of smartphones today that make me ask the question, are there a lot of smart people? A lot of smartphones? Less smart people? Right? Educate yourself. Education is not done in school. School is just sharpening the wits. The real education is when we get out of school. Is when you start to learn. Those learning will help you build your future. And there's no age in education. Colonel Sa Sanders, who knows Colonel Sanders? The founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm sure all of us have tasted that. It's world worldwide, global. He set up the business when he was 60 years old using his retirement fund and become a billionaire at his 70s. Educate yourself and you unlock the secrets to making more money. When you are educated, your turn to stand here and inspire people. So educate and educate others, all right? So I would like uh, to raise the energy, okay, tonight. I would like you to stand up. We'll make a declaration, okay? Let's make a declaration for change, okay? I would write, like you to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. You've got to repeat after me, okay? Declaration, all right? It's video, all right? So you've got to fulfill this declaration. I'd like you to look at the person on your right. Look at the person on your left. And a person behind you. Just in case you lose something, you know how, who has it, huh? <laughs> we'll make a declaration. I, state your name, Hector. No, not your name. <laughs> Declare that I'll rise up from being a victim to victor. That I will ask so that it shall be given. And I'll never give up on the things I truly want. And I'll spend time wisely. And I'll take action, massive action, to grow my self-worth and educate myself so I can educate others to unlock the secrets of making more money and to make the world a better place. Thank you.